Good evening, Chef uh, Vicky Ratnani here with us. Uh, thank you for giving us your time My for uh, the Express Group video. Chef, I would like to start with asking, uh, how has your journey been as a chef? You were first uh, working on the cruise liners and uh, if I'm not mistaken, you have also um, curated for celebrities like Nelson Mandela and uh, Queen Elizabeth. So how has the journey been? You know, how has it shaped your career as a chef? I think uh, what people must realize is that uh, the career of a chef is not a bed of roses. Uh, it's been a really hard work, which is I'm not complaining about it. But the thing is that it's uh, uh, the journey of of any professional in the food and beverage industry uh, can be as volatile as they want it to be. Uh, accepting challenges, working long hours, staying away from family, uh, spending nights in the middle of the Atlantic on a rough ocean. Um, celebrating when everyone is sleeping and actually working throughout the year when people are celebrating. So it's been it's been an amazing journey where um, it has literally like besides culinary it's almost like a, a, a management school altogether where as a chef you learn how to be punctual. So you learn about productivity, you learn about morale and motivation, you work about cost efficiency. So literally, uh, uh, it's it's all the aspects of management work as one can think of uh, has come into my life. Uh, it's been um, working with different nationalities, learning a lot from different people, keeping an open mind, uh, punctuality, grooming, respect, uh, working with 37 different nationalities. So it's been quite a journey. And then when I came back to India, uh, I was fortunate enough to set up two really high class, I mean world class restaurants such as Oris and Nido, uh, where we did a lot of modern cooking. Uh, we were way ahead of times but uh, now as you can see that uh, the FNB has moved uh, leaps and bounds and uh, it's a, a, you see the amount of restaurants which open and close every day is, is unreal. Um, television has been good, it's been, it's helped to um, increase the uh, the reach of the of the people. So I used to serve two three hundred people a day in a restaurant, but it's a great feeling when you influence over twenty million people every year. So it's been a good journey. I mean, I just feel that uh, at the end of the day, uh, I don't like the word celebrity chef. Uh, I am a chef who's been celebrated for his good work. That's how I term myself. And uh, yes, uh, it's been an amazing journey with Gaumi Investments, uh, Banda Project, the Runway Project. Uh, so who uh, has been your inspiration? Who would you? Um, as in? As in any person or any particular... Well, know? I have seen, I have followed uh, uh, chefs actually around around the America who were culinary students, who were head chefs at restaurants and have created uh, restaurants and businesses and different verticals and empires around it. So I think John, John George, Daniel Bello, Daniel Bullo are a few of the uh, chefs who have uh, created uh, multi-vertical businesses and restaurants. So how has the food culture scene in India changed you know, over the years? People are dining out now more often. I think people are becoming uh, more aware of food. Uh, there is earlier on either you eat in a very fine dine restaurant or you eat uh, on the street. Uh, and there were too many of the mid-level restaurants. But I think now uh, the whole food culture uh, has moved in a very parallel, literal, lateral way uh, where you have an enormous amount of eateries who are serving really good food at a very modest price as well. So those are the days where you could only find fine food or really good quality food in hotels and in five star hotels and restaurants. I think it's um, the standalone restaurants are uh, way ahead of their time. 
uh, there is more creativity there is more uh, uh, freedom to do whatever they have to and i think regional indian food uh, as was told as south indian or just north indian it's not just about south indian or north indian there is a whole uh, uh, microculture and uh, food is very hyper local now uh, literally you have uh, restaurants which which actually boast about the cuisine of a community or a locality itself so we've always been a foodie culture and i think uh, people are coming out of the closet and actually um, expressing their whole uh, interest about food what about your style of cooking have you i think my style of cooking is uh, is pretty much uh, uh, global uh, though i mean i've spent most of my chef uh, most as most of the time being a chef for 17 years outside the country i moved back to india 10 years ago so i still cook western food but it's with an indian soul now because the more and more you uh, stay or work in a place you tend to use indian ingredients indian spices work with the indian seasons cook for our indian guests so i think however uh, global and international i am but my my soul is very desi when it comes to food you may talk about uh, globally you know has a perception about indian cuisine change absolutely uh, 15 years ago uh, we were treated as uh, not even 15 like 10 years ago each indian restaurant was treated like a, a curry house or someone where you could uh, do a take away or order a a a, 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 a telly meal Uh, but it's not that i think indian food has become very aspirational uh, indian food uh, has been very refined you have a lot of michelin star fine dining restaurants uh, which are uh, which are uh, open in the top cities in the world like london new york paris melbourne so i think uh, uh, indian food is really uh, moving into uh, has moved into another zone of of refineness uh, and upmarketness and at the same time you have a lot of young chefs uh, from india who are uh, cooking really good food in india as well as abroad uh, i think chef manish mehrotra has done a great job who's opened um, restaurants like the indian action right from delhi to new york and london and there are few others which they just don't come into my mind but when there is chef uh, Manisha Chauhan I think she's in the US and uh, she's moved into smaller cities like Nashville and Tennessee and they've really like really really good indian food so i think uh, uh, people are just like in india are not just talking about north indian and south indian or a curry or a korma uh, there's a lot of regional specialties which westerners are able to also experience Uh, through chefs uh, tell us about your uh, association with you know the bandra project uh, by the pizza express uh with i work as new product development and i develop menus and cuisines for them uh, i work in tandem with all the head chefs most of them have been selected by myself and uh, we have uh, different price points different cuisines in different restaurants which gives me Uh, a chance to be creative at different levels okay so what is the kind of menus that uh, you know these projects are uh the runway project is uh, modern italian menus um which uh, which has a little uh, festival look to it uh, they are very trendy uh, all our plates for the projects are customized i work very closely with the pottery store who designed plates and crockery for us which you can see here uh, in bandra project it's bandra is almost like a very uh, san francisco neo hippie or hippie chic place so the food is very much like that uh, we have uh, uh, six or seven different cuisines which come on to our menu uh, we have influences from korea from india um, a bit of the us a bit a lot to do with italian food Uh, we make up most of our pastas in the house uh, we use good quality ingredients so it's it's basically a, a very community style where uh, 
you know anyone from um, a school going to someone my age will really enjoy to be here as well. So, so I think it's very innovative the food. What about this trend for going back to the roots? You know, the organic produce and sustainability. So, what are your thoughts on those? Uh, we are trying to be as sustainable as sustainable as we as much as we can. Uh, we don't really like to use too many imported imported products. Um, we have a lot of good cheese makers in India, so we're using local cheese. We use only local vegetables. Uh, we work with small farmers who supply us things like rocket and cherry tomatoes. Um, and uh, we organic few of our ingredients are organic. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, to have a restaurant of this size, which is 100% organic. Uh, is because the accessibility and regularity of of of, of ingredients, yeah. of ingredients, and uh, there's a there's a price factor to it as well. So, so we are trying to catch more people, like such as small co-ops, who are doing things for us. So is that the move in the right direction, like you know, going back to organic produce? Uh, you know, like well, I'll tell you, until until 20 years ago, we were an organic country. Yeah. You know, our, 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 even some of our, most of our farmers can't even afford pesticides and, and, uh, fertilizers. and fertilizers. So, uh, you know, I mean, we've only started seeing pretty looking vegetables in the last 10 years. You know, and I say the ugliest looking vegetable is the most healthiest one. Because that has got no... It's got no makeup on it. Uh, Chef, can you tell us something about this new technology, this hydroponics? You know, do you think that? Uh, I think hydroponic is the future of farming. Um, it's um, it is uh, zero soil free. It uh, uses less space. It uses less water. It's grown in a perfect condition, as well as the nutrients are calculated. So it's like someone who has been uh, customized and tailored. Uh, it is uh, much, much better than, thank God it's not GMO, so everything is still natural but it's controlled in an environment and the advantage of this is that you get the same quality produced for 12 months of the year. Okay, and uh, nutrition wise it's, it's uh, absolutely the same. Thing. Sometimes you see some of them now, um, see a lot of them is, uh, they are still working on hydroponics, so sometimes you do get variations like uh, sometimes you feel there is a little too much water in some vegetables like you know but at the same time uh, it is being corrected and uh, I think yeah, it's, I use I do I do use a quite a few so chef what about uh, your future of roadmap what is your vision you want to start your own restaurant every chef has a vision so what is what's yours well I have a health food startup called hello green but uh, I think we are going to be doing a few more restaurants uh, with 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 this group, uh, Bombay Investments, they are Ramit Mittal who heads the who heads the company. Uh, he is uh, very open to doing a lot of new uh, innovative restaurants, which we, which we might be doing. Uh, yes, there is a there is a talk of me doing a signature restaurant, okay. uh, which is going to be based on the seasons. And uh, what about Wikipedia? Wikipedia is uh, is a show which became very popular, but now Wikipedia is a uh, is a metaphor for my little test laboratory where we are doing recipes now. Okay, and chef, one last uh, question: uh, What would you advise aspiring chefs who want to join? It's not uh, all glamour; it's a lot of Absolutely. hard work. Absolutely, you, you thank you for answering my question. Actually, <laughs> it's not about glamour; it's about uh, being genuinely interested. It's very simple. Uh, if you're not interested in cooking and you are, uh, if you don't want, if you don't want to be a part of making the people happy business, you can leave it. Thank you, Chef. Thank well, you. Thank you.